hey, you found it. So just got back from doing a presentation on suicide tonight. And so I know a lot of you who are watching this probably were at that um, presentation tonight. Energy was pretty intense in there and there's a lot of hurting people. So I wasn't really planning on doing a video tonight, but got back to the hotel room. I'm like, okay, I got to do this. So um, thank you for all of you who came and thank of you Thank you of those of you who are there to support somebody else. And I know some of you were there because of you and because you're hurting a lot. So um, a couple months ago, finished up watching the 13 Reasons Why series on Netflix and um, had a lot of different thoughts about that and a lot of comments from people. But the whole time I was watching that, that series, I kept thinking, hey, 13 Reasons Why Not? And so tonight uh, we're going to talk about 13 reasons, but we're going to talk about number one tonight. Um, so in this session tonight at the end, I had closed by um, asking the different people there to give me their ideas of what they thought were some reasons of why people should not kill themselves. And uh, one young gal there who had made several attempts in the past um, said um, in front of everybody, and she said, some people may not care about you, but there's other people who do care about you. And that was very wise words from this young teenager because there are some people in our lives who don't care about us or it appears to us that they don't care about us. Sometimes um, they have so much pain of their own that they don't know how to care for us. They don't have the emotional capacity. Sometimes they were never cared for themselves. Uh, sometimes they just got so much stuff going on that they're just not even aware of what's going on inside you or they have so little lack of emotional and relational intelligence that they can't do that. It's hard because sometimes they're your family, sometimes they're your friends, sometimes it's your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, but it, her words are very, very powerful. When somebody doesn't care about you, there's always somebody else who will. And so one of the things that we as human beings have to do is understand that we and we alone are responsible for the people who we allow to have access to us within our lives. We don't get to pick our family of origin. You were born into this family that you are born into, um, and you have the mom that you have, you have the dad that you have, you have the siblings that you have. Um, so when, when you're young, you really can't change your geographic location either, you know? So, but there's always things that you can do. And one of the things that I've worked hard with through the years with people, especially when I used to work with kids who are in the foster care system or in very, you know, difficult and challenging and just very troubled homes, is help them to learn um, where they could find safe places and where they could find safe people and how to put protective barriers around themselves. And that's something that each of us have to learn to do. It's gonna happen all the rest of your life. There will always be people who are around you who are not healthy for you, emotionally, physically, spiritually, relationally, and you have to learn how to protect yourself from them. You do. And you can't sit back passively and expect somebody else to do that for you. You need to recruit other people to help you. You need to tell people what you need. You need to, first of all, be the friend to others that you want for them to be to you. And so one of the ways to get outside of ourselves is to literally to go outside of ourselves and make friends and to have the to exhibit behavior toward others that we would like for them to exhibit to us. It's easier said than done. That's what we've got. We've got to do. So I don't know what kind of situation you're in, and I don't know how much you're hurting. If you're watching this video, it's probably because either you yourself are considering or have considered suicide, or you have somebody that you love who is. And either way, that's a tough place to be in. So I want to offer you hope. Uh, there have been times in all of our lives that we get to that point that we are low and we are despondent and the world seems dark and sometimes it seems like we don't want to go on. But you know what? Having looked backwards now at the older age of 50 year old and I see my younger self and see the difficult times I went through and relational breakups and stuff. And at that time, it's the only thing that I could see. I'd like to point you to a later self of yours who would go back to say, hey, hang in there. And uh, step outside the relationships that you have. And that's one of the things that I think that we go wrong in is we do the same things over and over again with the same people 
and getting the same results. I get more and more frustrated every time, and it doesn't change. And so sometimes when you're in some relationship, you have to say, hey, it is what it is. They are who they are, at least at this point in their life. And so you have to remove yourself from those situations or protect yourself from those situations and hang around with somebody else. And so I have to do this all the time. Sometimes it's with certain you know, friends or coworkers or even family members. You've got to do that because nobody else is going to do that for you. And so reach outside that. So I'd just like to say to you, if it's a dark place in your life right now, is the number one reason why you shouldn't kill yourself. Because if there are people who don't care for you, there are other potential people who can. And sometimes you have to go fishing in a different pond. That's it for tonight. Take care of yourself.